hey, you know, maybe we need to be tougher on crime because look at all this craziness happening in Chicago. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't it totally justify everything, right? Yeah, what totally. Or we can look for more footage. Yes. Fart. <clears throat> there's, there's more. Oh, that went from press. Yeah, fuck this. That was just the first one. I don't want to watch some 45 minute press conference from the bastards. Fuck yeah, let's no. see what else we got here. Yeah, we had another one. Oh, yes. Hope you didn't have yeah, too here's... much invested in uh, Elon Musk because they stole your nest egg. Oh. Well, actually, good, Frank's the, in the, good, hood. the good thing about this kind of shit right here is it doesn't really affect stock prices that much. Tesla's stock actually went up, I think. <laughs> I was gonna say. Why do you want us to tweet some there's mysterious less to go fucking around. sayings about this or something like, "It's okay. This is just proof of accelerationism bringing the future." So I, you can just the, not worry. I think the fact that uh, Elon Musk hasn't Singular. tweeted anything strange has helped the stock prices uh, go up. Because anytime he tweets something dumb, his stock the stock prices go down. Because see, oh yeah, that's that's the game. You buy whenever yeah, he says well, something that, stupid. The phrase "the stock market" is just a drawing or a picture of rich people's feelings isn't just like something that make to make fun of rich people being crybabies and whatnot. No, it's an actual, like it's that's that's how it is. Cause all it is is basically what causes people's confidence to falter in whatever company they're invested in. So say this, in this case, Tesla, well, did anything happen really to shake Tesla investors' uh, fucking panties off? Not really. Quite so the opposite, as no. Meepa points out here. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So basically, they're not selling Tesla stock, which means Tesla stock is going to be maintaining its value or going up in value. Yeah, pretty much. Because, yeah, like Todd said, MIPA says they're basically creating extra demand for the company yeah. because they're all there's, insured. There's nothing like, to worry about. Do <laughs> you have said, any footage yeah. here of uh, looting? Yeah. Anywhere on? <clears throat> uh, those are, These were the only two that were posted in uh, the, in open the up links. Up the, let's see here. Let's go now, back now, quick. I just want to clarify with everything I just said, I do support looting Tesla stores. Um, just want to get that out there. <laughs> yes, yeah. as a stock owner in yeah. Tesla, well, please loot looting the heavily insured stores. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Sorry, no one, as no a one... non-stock owner in Tesla, I have no interest in you looting the stores. Please do not continue looting heavily insured Elon Musk stores. It, you're totally not... See, here's the thing about the looting die. I actually just realized. This is why I'm glad we didn't move on from this. This is a little bit of a breakthrough. All these big businesses, contrary to what ANCAPs and, and libertarians and people who are true believers in like the hard-fought nature of capitalism or whatever, um, these big companies really have nothing to lose uh, because they're insured, like you said. Um Mom and pop stores have something to lose if they're not properly insured or, you know, are really running on thin margins and not able to repair and, and shit like that. But in most of these neighborhoods where the looting has occurred, in this case, it's actually in an upscale district, the Magnificent Mile of Chicago, which is why it's kind of a big deal in a, attracting all of this uh, attention. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, I heard s Skype sounds somewhere. I don't know what was up with that. Um, anyway, um, point is, it's it's always either going to be in an upscale district like this where it's all bougie-ass shit that's well-insured, like the Tesla store, and th you're literally going to make more money for all the fucking businessmen involved because crony capitalism is crooked, cockamamie, 
cockadoodoo bullshit. Yeah, okay, Joe Biden. And and it, and other than that, it's a bunch of maybe malarkey. They go rioting in a poor neighborhood. Is. Maybe they go rioting in a poor neighborhood. I'm gonna take you outside, and, and, capitalism. And in, a, and in a poor neighborhood, if they go rioting there, it's not yeah. like the neighborhood or the people who have equity in the businesses there. Like that auto zone that got destroyed in Minneapolis, that wasn't owned by some fucking poor black dude. That was owned by someone who doesn't live in the neighborhood. I assume. I don't specifically know about that case. But. And also, let let's not forget, let's not forget that AutoZone uh, was busted up initially by somebody who was a provocateur. That was pretty much confirmed that that was somebody from a neighboring precinct that was trying you know, to start. Speaking of uh, right wing provocateurs uh, beating the shit out of people. <laughs> 